Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of complete placenta previa. A third trimester gravid female patient came with lower abdominal pain and slight parvaginal bleeding. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the partially filled urinary bladder. This is the placenta which completely covers the internal os of the cervix. This is the urinary bladder and posterior to it, this is the part of cervix and this is the internal os. And we can see it is completely covered with the placenta, indicating complete placenta previa. So this patient needs surgical approach for delivery. So here's the picture of the partially filled urinary bladder. Posterior to it, this is the area of internal os, and we can see it is completely covered with the placenta, indicating complete placenta previa. So in summary, the placenta completely covers the cervical internal os, indicating complete placenta previa. Now the take-home message. Complete placenta previa is the least likely to resolve with advancing gestation if detected in early pregnancy. If you see any patient in early pregnancy to have completely covered os with placenta, then make a follow-up scan and wait up to the 28 or 30 weeks, depending on which guideline you follow, to say the complete placenta previa. Mid-sagittal images best demonstrate the relationship of placenta and internal cervical os. So always try to confirm placenta previa on mid-sagittal image. We sometimes overdiagnose placenta previa by scanning at the lateral side of the uterus and the lateral placenta may cause confusion. So try to search for the internal os of the cervix by mid-sagittal images where we can best visualize the relationship of placenta to the internal cervical os. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.